I'm Steve Knight, the project manager for AIBTM. Hi Steve, thank you for joining us. Um, can you start out by telling me how AIBTM, the run-up to it, is going? It's been going very well so far. Um, requests from exhibitors have been getting uh, quicker and quicker coming into our office. Um, planning for the show has been going really well. We have an office um, based in Norwalk, Connecticut, so we've got lots of resources there that have helped us um, progress things really, really quickly. Guys in Baltimore are very easy to work with. Um, interest from potential visitors, potential hosted buyers has been coming in daily. It's, it's, been, it's been a very crazy but enjoyable ride so far. That's good. Uh, you said you're looking at increasing the number of hosted buyers. Can you tell me about that a little bit? Sure, yeah. Um, ever since we made the announcement from PCMA um, co-locating their education conference and having the Convention Industry Council Hall of Leaders event uh, take place during the show, People have been even more interested, wanting to be a part of it, wanting to book space at the show. It was getting to a point where, unless we actually grew the, the show floor, we were going to be selling out. It's, it's, it has been really crazy, but in a great way. Um, so what that meant, of course, is that we had to keep the ratio for the hosted buyers. Uh, and so by doing so, we're going to be increasing our hosted buyers from 500 to 2,000. That's a pretty dramatic increase. Mm -hmm. But we have to keep up with, with demand and what the exhibitors want. And, and it's the, with the, the rate the show was growing, we, we had no alternative. And, and the demand and the interest from the buyers, it, it's just been fantastic. Uh, Steve, you said there were three factors beyond, behind the, this growth. Uh, can you go over those for me? Yeah, sure. Um, there are indeed three. The first one, I think, is the location. We, yeah. we chose Baltimore for some very clear reasons. Um, there are 13,000 planners within three hours of Baltimore. It's easy to get to. The airport's close to being downtown. The convention centre is great. The hotels are walking distance. The city was supportive. The whole hospitality community was supportive. Um, I think that's definitely one of the reasons, and, and most people in this industry knows how close Baltimore is to where all the planners are based, be it coming down by train from New York or coming up from D.C. Um, the other one, yes, I think the economy, okay, when we might not quite be where we want to be yet, but I, pre I think pretty much everyone is optimistic now and has definitely started seeing some upturns in their business. And the exhibitors who are making inquiries to us are definitely saying that they're starting to see that, which is great news for everybody, the whole industry, not just us. Um, and the third thing was the co-locations, the, the PCMA education conference, the CIC Hall of Leaders, that has generated a lot of press interest, a lot of exhibitor interest, um, and that, that's definitely been behind some of the um, some of the upturn that we've seen in sales. Okay, can you tell me a little about uh, the education component and America Meeting Week? Yeah, America Meetings Week will consist of the the PCMA event, the CIC event. We're looking at adding a few other new initiatives to it too, um, possibly something on the advocacy side, a CEO forum. Um, we will also be doing our own day of education, which will take place on the Tuesday. And what that will allow is that will allow the other industry bodies who want to work with us on the education programme to become involved with AIBTM. Uh, MPI will be announcing the results of their uh, value of meetings research study, which we've got an alliance with them on, and they'll be announcing that during the, the meetings week as well. But some of the other um, industry bodies like Green Meetings Council, ASE, they all want to be involved in um, providing education at the show. At this event here at MPI's WEC and also in the last six months, Almost every conversation I've had with a planner has gotten at some point to corporate social responsibility, including that in meetings and in incentive programs, every kind of event. Is that something you're seeing a lot of and you're going to be addressing? Yes, it is. Yes to both, actually. We've, we've seen a lot of it. We've heard a lot of it. Um, EIBTM has met the BS, BS 8901 standards um, and... That's obviously, uh, we're obviously going to try and incorporate as much of that into ARBTM as we can. We've, from the very early on, actually, we had conversations with Visit Baltimore, with the convention centre as well, to make sure our event is, is as compliant as we can be. Um, and also from an education standpoint, we're going to be looking at how we can promote um, 
the whole CSR theme in in a, in a greater in a greater um, way than we have done. Okay. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.